peculiar problem of preachers peculiar problem of those who are experienced with the word of god that you can preach and things will be happening people can be healed people can even repent when you are still in your backsliding state even when they have lost their their point with god things can still happen you wonder why a man that is fornicating is still preaching and the anointing is still flowing like water and some of you are convinced and say if god is not with him why are people being saved don't talk like that there was a great revival in Nineveh, but the vessel that was used was not part of it do you know it is possible for you to be used to help others and that does not mean you are being helped at all do you know these are the issues i don't want to ignore about my life i don't want to congratulate myself that yes people have been saved as i preach here as i preach there that doesn't have anything to do with who i am the name of jesus is credit worthy anytime if we all know his name even if a dog mentions it what must i do not to miss my own place i must keep an eye on my personal relationship with I god i must not measure my life with the things that happen in the congregation of god's people i must not think that because i'm preaching and people are getting held and they are being saved that it's well with my soul when it is not i am surprised that some people will be able to say in that day in your name we cast out demons i'm wondering how could people in his name cast out demons and they will still be workers of iniquity very possible it is this kind of possibility that i'm crying to you about tonight are there some of you say well even though i am still watching pornographic films but anytime i preach in my fellowship things happen i Hallelujah. know that a man of god can be dying but when he come on the pulpit fire hey everyone so i'm trying to create a promotional video like an intro video for feminine revamp and it has been um <clears throat> I know that for a very long time, I personally have been struggling with content creation owing to the fact that I'm in the diaspora and where I am, I don't have, I have limited resources. I mean like human physical resources. Most of the people and the team I work with, I work with them online, virtually. So at a point it's going to gradually get to my nerves. I don't blame me. I don't blame anybody. But just maybe the environment I found myself in, I find myself, um, I find myself really, really limited. At a point, there are so many things I want to do that I end up finding myself highly limited. I come from, I, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I am just trying to vent out my frustration now. I was about shooting a promotional video for one of the courses we have at the Prindeman, but I feel the, the I've always have felt the frustration but it actually got to me like this morning at this point i need i really need um I I, i'm just using this opportunity to call out uh, editors if you are a video editor and you you know your game right you can edit great videos contact me like let me know okay so that we can see how we can work together um let me reduce one of this you know trouble of editing videos i've been editing all of my videos it has been quite exhausting this is one of the reasons why it seems as though maybe i'm struggling with consistently posting videos because i have to do the brainstorming my team i do the brain but at the end of the day i have to do the shooting right i find myself in a place where i don't really have friends i mean physical friends in china here because of how my journey was you know where I schooled was far from, it's very far from this place that I stay. And in this place, which is Hanjo, if you don't have people you meet in church, you meet in club or you meet in your department, it is quite difficult to have people to really rapport with because everybody minds their business in their houses and nobody wants to disturb anybody. So it has really affected me and my friendship with people or my relationship with people that I don't have a physical team now. 
if I am to employ a physical team, I, I'm going to be employing somebody from afar to always come and that might not be very profitable, profiting to me or anyone. So this is just like a vulnerable video. I never intended to do this video. I just wanted to create um behind the scene of uh, me shooting my personal content, but it's getting quite frustrating. At this point, I don't know which of these to wear. Like, serious, I'm being very serious now. I don't know. So, let's try. Let me see. I'm trying to create, like I said earlier, the kind of video I'm trying to create is like a welcome video to a course. One of the courses in the print demand, the Feminine Revamp. We are gradually working on um, turning the Feminine Revamp you know, group coaching into a more self-paced course so that people can actually assess it anytime they want in the year instead of waiting for a particular time you know of the year to assess these courses because we've had a lot of programs that has come up and people cannot are not able to uh, you know easily get in touch whenever they want to because we don't have these as courses in our system we just have to have one one coaching or when i come up with um an event or webinar and seeing that the print woman is still at her infancy we are going, trying to grow her and not to overwhelm her we're taking it a step at a time so help me judge does this look like a welcome um does this look welcoming enough for a course Hey gorgeous, welcome to Feminine Revamp. I am Nalo Ifoma. I am delighted to meet you. Let's see another one. I have seven glasses in my house. Seven. Hey gorgeous and welcome to Feminine Revamp. I am Nalo Ifoma and I am delighted to meet you. What do you think? Hey gorgeous, welcome to Feminine Revamp. I am Nala Ifoma and I'm delighted to meet you. And now I'll have to come down and check if this video that I made now actually made sense to confirm. Oh Lord have mercy. I don't want to think about it. I really don't want to think about it. I There are, there are thoughts that are coming, flooding my mind that I don't want to give room for because it's not time to give room for them if i give room for them i'm going to break down which is going to spill into things i'm currently working on now so this is where emot emotional intelligence comes in taking control of my emotion my feelings now that are valid holding them there until the right time to visit them comes excuse me until the right time to visit them comes so yeah So that's why I do not rate any man of God by the pulpit. Because the pulpit is a place where God can just walk anytime he wants to walk. It has nothing to do with how correct you are. So I must tell even those of you that are preachers, fellowship presidents, never you be arrogant. Can you let us insist that your personal walk with God comes before any activity of ministry? And I suggest to you that the only way you can last that in the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, if God tarries, you will still be relevant is if you check what goes on in your inner man. Have you ever gone for a meeting where things happened? People were blessed, but you are dry. You sang, people are just jubilating, but inside of you, there's a question mark. Have you ever seen preachers who preach so powerfully but they went home and themselves and their wives they are fighting and only wives of such preachers can tell you the truth not many of those pastors wives are happy they can't cry publicly because they must not spoil ministry they cannot go to anybody for counseling because how can pastors wife need counseling jonah preached Nineveh repented but jonah was dry secret things that makes great men slide to end in jeopardy they give attention to the public they overlook the private they are more concerned about presentation but they do not pay attention to preservation of their inner man
They take time to dress up. But they did not take enough time to deal with personal IG of their spirit. I don't know how we can cry for revival and not cry for issues that are more pertinent. Issues that have made many lives to end in a question mark. Many more that you thought are great may be found last when the role is called up yonder. He that thinketh the standard, let him take it lest he falls. The mighty are falling before. Termites of sin have finished them. I don't want to preach about revival and not be in revival. I don't want to challenge others to revival and I will be out of it. I don't want to call many to the kingdom of God and I myself will be ordered to stand aside. I will end well.